Hey everybody, it's me, Marina Martinez Bateman. I am the CEO of New Coyote Consulting. We are an equity and communications consulting firm here in the Pacific Northwest. And this is the Monday update. I have tried to record this so many times. I am a fucking wreck, you guys. I haven't been sleeping well for the last several weeks. And last night was, it was, it was the worst. It was the worst. I got four non-consecutive hours of sleep and, um, and had a really big old nightmare <laughs> that when I woke up and tried to explain it to my husband, I was like, wow, okay, that's not obvious. <laughs> In the nightmare, I had a dream basically that, um, there was some kind of bad monster invasion going on. And that I was the only person who couldn't tell the human beings from the monsters. Which feels relevant. Um, this being the Monday update, I will tell you my intentions for the week. On Thursday, I'll come back and I tell you how I did. This is the fourth time I've tried to do this. No, way more than four. This is like the sixth time I've tried to do this. Because I'm so tired that I can't keep a narrative going. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you the facts in order. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to tangent. I swear. <sighs> Several weeks ago, I set a boundary. This is all related. Don't worry. Several weeks ago, I set a boundary with uh, someone from my family of origin. They didn't take it well. Um, I knew they weren't going to take it well, which is why I waited literally years to set this boundary. But it just got to a point where I had to do it. Um, I had to choose me. I had to choose me, y'all. Um, and that's it's as simple as that. I have certain values. I have certain principles. I have certain kind of minimum standards for how I am treated, which is not anything that I learned growing up in the family I came from. That's not, it's not the kind of people we were. Um, we had so much scarcity, so much loss and neglect and abuse and historical trauma in my family of origin that we were not able to have minimum standards of behavior for other people. We were not able to have minimum standards of behavior for ourselves. It makes total sense, you know, that uh, that it would be very hard to set boundaries with my family of origin people. It is. And um, the outcome of that discussion has just had me messed up for weeks. I'm going to be honest. It's had me messed up for weeks. And... That's, that's part of the work, right? We're trying to decolonize over here, trying to address the structures of white supremacy and capitalism that keep us feeling small and at a disadvantage and scarce and worthless and useless, that have us overworking, have us choosing employers and racist, classes, sexist systems over ourselves and our needs and our values. If I'm trying to dismantle that, I have got to do it in my own heart, in my own life, with my own family. If I can't do it on this one-to-one -one individual scale, this it would be ridiculous, silly even, to expect that I could do that on a larger scale, on a systemic scale. And still, you know, it hurts. Um to be uh, openly rejected, I guess. <laughs> um, and it's got, it's activated all my stuff, right? You know, I don't feel like I'm good enough. I don't feel like I'm worthy. I don't feel like people want me to be in their family or their friends. I don't feel like I'm important. I don't feel like I'm valuable. I don't feel like people, I feel like people don't love me or nobody loves me, which is not true. I understand this. But that all comes up and then it's hard and I've got to process it. You know, I've got to take those feelings and examine them and sit with them and um, be loving and um, open to my shadow self and be loving and open to my inner child and um, 
do uh, that, that work that wasn't, I couldn't do when I was younger either because I didn't have the time or the resources because I didn't have the skills or the knowledge or the experience. And it just takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy, especially when um, the anxiety and, and grief of the whole thing make it hard to sleep at night. So I don't know if I said it at the top of the hour. The intention for this week is to go easy on myself because I'm doing that hard work. So that's what I'm going to do this week. That's my plan is to go easy on myself and recognize that this emotional labor of processing this grief, of setting these boundaries, of living these values is the work. It's not necessarily what I can produce. It's not how many hours I sit at this desk. The work is how am I addressing these systems and how am I reaching towards personal and and group liberation for me and my community. And that's setting boundaries and standing up for myself is one of the ways. And it's one of the hardest ways for me. It's the most draining. But it's important. And so I'm going to do it. But that that's what's up with me this week. That's why I'm not at the level I'm usually at on this video. Tell me about a time that you set boundaries and it paid off for you. I would really like to be reassured in the comments. That would be awesome. Put your intentions down below too. Let's go. Let's, or not go. Let's stay. <laughs> I think the phrase let's go can be really helpful that we're all going on this journey together. But I think sometimes it can be misused as a way to um, encourage movement when what we need is stillness. I said no tangents. I lied. I'm sorry. Have a fucking good week. Eat your goddamn lunch, please. Um, that is actually one of the things that's happening over the last several weeks. I have been extremely sad and I have been extremely everything and not sleeping. But through it all, um, this time around, I have actually been eating, which is a, a blessing. That's a... That is a show that my skills in terms of self-care are leveling up. And that's really awesome. And I'm very proud of myself for that. I will see you on Thursday with the Thursday update. Bye, everybody.